Oh yeah, doesn't feel like it's that cold. Usually you have that like, wow, it's snowing in the mountains type of feel. So we got this one. This is a good gospel track here. And Gort, the uh, ever popular rainbow card, Depth Charge. That's a good one. Got a few of those out. I think they just looked in your purse to share with you. Is that where they had like a meet and greet ticket, like $125? Oh my! <laughs> yeah, but they go to a charity foundation. Oh, does it? Oh, I, did, I didn't see that. I just thought, wow, $125. Oh, <laughs> gotta have some bucks. What's that? A meet and greet ticket? Yeah, a meet and greet ticket. Like, wow. Uh, but yeah, if it goes to a charity, that's kind of cool. A fancy looking bus. Must be the, the band bus. <clears throat> I think the last time I was here was David Grisman, I think, played here. Have you seen him before? Who? David Grisman? Mandolin player. He's really good. He's actually going to be coming to Grant's Pass. Oh, really? and, uh, that's where we're from. Rogue, Rogue Theater, have you been over there before? Ah, they have a lot of concerts there. I enjoy the concert. <laughs> Yeah, we need that snow for sure. You folks get one yet? Oh, no, Are you going to the concert? Yeah. You guys going to the concert? Yeah, sure now. Get one yet? No. On Will Call now, they tell me to just come in and have my ID. What do you think of the sign? I agree. Uh -oh, okay, great. Thank you. Get one of these. These are little rainbow cards. Got some more information on it. No, thank you. I'm helping right. my ill mom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank Good for you. you. Good for you. Got to take care of the, the, the folks, for sure. 
You guys get a rainbow card? Uh, I'm good, thank you. You got one? Okay. Can we go in that way? Yeah, okay. It's like I almost, almost want to run get my raincoat, but if it gets, gets any more threatening, I probably will. Stephen Marley, I guess the oldest son of Bob and Sherry Marley, I think. So, sounded fairly talented when I listened to him on the uh, on the YouTube. So we'll see. I think that was that might have been him and that crowd that walked by in the dreads. Not sure though. <clears throat> Enjoy the concert. No, I'm waiting for somebody. <laughs> yeah, are you coming? It's Marley. Marley. Yeah, right? How's it going? You guys get a rainbow card yet? Going to the concert? I think we're good, thank you. All right, well, so it's about it. See if you're good enough to go to heaven. That's the kind of the topic oh, at hand. Done that. Uh, <laughs> okay, just wondering. What do you think of the signs? Pretty gross. Gross? Gross? You could come up with a better description than that, couldn't you? A little more in depth, maybe? Yep. 
Do you want help with the wheelchair getting that up there? Are you, are you um, okay? Yes. Let me, uh, yeah, if you, well, let me just set this down here. Uh, here, let me give you, give you a hand here. I but I don't really want to take that on yeah, right now. I get it. Yeah, that's, a, that's okay. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. God bless you. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, here, hold the sign. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, yeah, got that. I totally understand. <clears throat> Little slow, but it should pick up here. 15, 20 minutes, maybe. So we'll see. How you doing? Did you get your rainbow card yet? You going to the concert? I'm working the door. Oh, there you go. That's here. something for you to read when you get a chance. Here, I'll get it next time. Around. Okay, next time around. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Enjoy I'll the concert. Forever is a long time, especially to be wrong. <clears throat> How did y'all chose to stand in front of a Stephen Marley concert? Why Stephen Marley? You guys going to the concert? We sure are. All right, get a rainbow card there. There awesome. you go. Should be a good concert. I saw a little bit of them on YouTube. Pretty talented. He is, yeah. Yeah. You, you haven't seen him before? Nope. Uh, I guess Ziggy Marley was here a few months ago in Grants Pass, but I didn't didn't get there. We're from Kansas, so we oh. saw the concert and was like, why not? Uh, yeah, just visiting <laughs> yeah. family here? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Hey Tracy. see who else oh there's John hey John hey hope you get the feeling better sorry you're feeling sick uh, maybe we'll probably swing by and get those small signs uh, uh, on the way back maybe um, I wish you could be here not gonna stay for the, the reggae but we're gonna stay for the show <laughs> so to speak <clears throat> it sounds like they have a pretty big band from what I'm guessing. Like six or eight members or something like that. Stalts. <laughs> Try 
trying to beat this this cough keeps hanging on oh <laughs> what do you think of the signs? Well, my Jesus wouldn't talk really like that. Yeah. Which Jesus? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not really the spirit of what you got on that sign. Yeah. I so hope, hope folks can hear the gospel. That's what we're here for. Not to protest the concert or anything. Just, just share the gospel because there are people here. We love people. <clears throat> Want them to be saved. Saved from what? Well, saved from the wrath of God, of course. <clears throat> More folks. <clears throat> Little carpool in action there. <clears throat> You guys going to the concert? Yeah. You get a get a rainbow card, free rainbow card for you there. Got the gospel on it. It's good information. Oh, I'm good. All right. Are you good enough to go to heaven? That's the question. <clears throat> Everybody's got to ask. I think because most people will say they they are. <clears throat> That's tight. You get a rainbow card, man? You got it. Yeah, I got some good information on there. What do you think of the sign? I think it's pretty shady. Yeah. Why is that? Because I think it's bullshit. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, what part about it? It's really hateful. Well, hateful? What? I mean, well, what if you read the sign, what does it say? What part of it is hateful? That you're saying people deserve death and hell. Well, we all do. Yeah, myself included. Yeah. You guys get a rainbow card going to the concert? Oh, I'm good, man. Thanks. Uh, okay. I think they're standing, they're standing in here. Yeah, you can get two kids. Well, there's not very many left, so. How you folks doing? You get a rainbow card? <laughs> what one looking for a conversation, a gospel-centered conversation. How you doing, man? You get a rainbow card? Thanks, brother. All right, enjoy the concert. <laughs> grace and wisdom and break the bonds of the of the enemy and bring gospel into conflict with culture folks going to the concert get your rainbow card it's okay all right enjoy the concert thank you we're not protesting the concert by the way we're just oh. here sharing the gospel 
Actually, I listened to some of his music on YouTube. Pretty amazing um, talent, for sure. Runs in the family, I think. How you doing, man? You get your rainbow card yet? There you go. Enjoy the concert. You get a rainbow card, ma'am? Gospel conversations, that's what we're looking for. But if nothing else, get a few tracks in folks' hands, get the, the rainbow card. Got, I think I'm going to get a few more of those out. They, they're starting to go. Better get old old stack out here just in case. People tend to like them. They're a little bit of the, uh, the depth charge effect, but... Hey, that is, that is okay. It works. Gets the gospel out and gets some good information in folks' hands to be saved, regardless of uh, what, your, what your lifestyle is. He's a good guy, good uh, good listener. So praying for that conversation. Yes, sir. All right, see you around. Be safe out there. A little bit nippy. Grab another glove here. Good to be uh, equipped with gear, warm weather gear if you need. Guys, get one yet? Rainbow card, you going to the concert? Good. All right, there's a rainbow card if you'd like one. Sounds good. What do you think of the signs? Awesome. Guys, get a rainbow card? You going to the concert? Yep. There's a rainbow card for you there if you'd like. Thank you. Enjoy. What do you think of the sign? Uh huh. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. It's got the sins, most of them on the the Ten Commandments, and then uh, the solution to sin on the back. That kind of kind of makes it. Mm-hmm. 
That's a chunk of change on 125 bucks. Oh, <laughs> you guys get a rainbow card yet? You going to the concert? Uh, no. All right, one for you. Yeah, enjoy the show. Folks, get a rainbow card. Ah, thank you. There you go. God bless you now. Enjoy the concert there, later or not. Where's the rainbow card? Oh, it's got some information, um, especially about it, LGBT. There's some statistics, statistical things with the website listed on the back, and it's got the, the gospel. Do you, do you know the gospel? When I say gospel, you know what I mean? <laughs> So basically looking at the Ten Commandments, like, like for instance, would, uh, would you consider yourself to be a good person? Once upon a time. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. But so now you wouldn't say you're a good person? Does that change? I'm not that great. Uh-huh. But I mean, I could be better. Yeah, yeah, we could all, yeah. We kind of compare ourselves to others. I don't go out of my way to commit any more sins than I've already committed. Uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, and that's that. good. Do you, do you think maybe you've kept the Ten Commandments? So you, you have an idea about that? Yeah. You think you have? Have I kept the Ten Commandments? Yeah, yeah. Not my whole life. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, just kind of like the rest of us. So you think you've, you've lied before? No, that, that's honest. So what would you call somebody who's, who's lied? What would they be called? A liar. Yeah, you're, you, got, you got the idea, yeah. And, and the Eighth Commandment of, of the Ten Commandments says you shall not steal. So do you think you've ever taken anything that wasn't yours? Like even a, a paper clip or a toy or a piece of candy? Probably. Yeah, yeah. That's, and I believe you. That's very honest because we've all done that. So what would that make you? What would you be called if you've stolen something? You call it a thief. Yeah, yeah, you're right on. You're zinging it. Uh, and then do you think you've ever taken God's name in vain? I have, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. That's what we, our conscience says. Right, yeah, it's blasphemy. You know that, yeah. And, and so <laughs> our conscience says, no, no. And, and it out it comes. And we go, oh, it was bad. And then we do it again. We do it again. Well, we go, why can't I keep. And golly, are you permissive? Yeah, they can be if it's said with the wrong intent. If you say those words in with the wrong intent, yeah. Kill you from yeah, I think I think you you've got it. it. Yeah, it's it's the intent of the heart, really. That's that's what it is. You're you're. I think you're right on the right track there. Yeah. And then Jesus said, "You've heard it said to them of old, do not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after has already committed adultery with them in their heart." And it goes men to women, women to men. So do you think you've ever done that before in your entire life? No. Nope. Don't even when you're young. Yeah, never I'm never looked at a guy. Now, yeah. yeah. And and, and yeah. that's very honest. Yeah. So Jesus would term that as adultery of the heart. In other words, you don't have to actually commit adultery. No, if you think it in your mind, if you think you want to do it, you're listening. You got it. Yeah, you got it. You're you're we're very astute. You're very uh, you're reasoning well. You're you're right on the money there. So how do you think it would do if God were to judge just based on those four commandments there, of, of lying, theft, blasphemy, and adultery of the heart? Do you, do you think you'd be innocent, or would you be guilty on the day of judgment? No, I'd be forgiven. Um, but I mean, if you were to say innocent or guilty, what would you say? I'm innocent. Innocent, and that's <laughs> in, that's interesting. So you've committed those, but so why? What would your reasoning be? Why would you say you'd be innocent? Probably be cleansed by the blood of the lamb. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, okay, very interesting. So. If you repent. Yeah. So, so tell me more about that because I'm very interested in that. That's a, that's a very, what I would say, interesting and, and unique answer, especially in the context of what, what we're at here. So, uh, like Jesus asked his disciples, who do you say that I am? 
And, and so we could ask you, what, who, who do you say Jesus is? He's son of God. Son of God. Do you, do you think in, anything else about him that you could describe him as? But what other, I mean, he has other names and other descriptions. How else would you describe him? Savior, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Uh-huh. Would you say that he's uh, God in the flesh? He was. Yeah, but do you think he still is? He's not in the flesh, no. Right, but um, so the Bible says that he actually ascended into heaven in bodily form. Uh, and there are religions that teach that he didn't, you know, a bunch of different variations, but that he, he came and died for us and in the flesh. So it's kind of like if you believe something different about somebody, like, then you're, you're talking about a different person. So it would be a different Jesus. Like, for instance, Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus is Michael the archangel, and then he didn't, uh, he didn't rise bodily from the grave. He only rose spiritually. But if you look at the scriptures, it's pretty clear. I mean, even, even down to the point where he, he actually ate in front of them and he didn't see the fish just like, poof, you know, <laughs> you could actually, he ate it in front of him, you know. And so he was obviously, that was just one example of him being in the flesh. So, but there's a lot of religions that say different things about, about him, which would indicate that's a different Jesus. So, so if, you, if you trust in a different Jesus, how do, how do you think he would save you if it's a different Jesus? <laughs> well, there's different religions have different Jesuses, like uh, the Jesus of the Jehovah's Witnesses or the, the Mormons or the Muslims. or the, Even the Catholics have a different Jesus. He's still, in the Catholic religion, he's still on the cross. And uh, they're still having to uh, try and pay for their sins by, by doing good works that Jesus didn't actually finish it like he said you know on the cross he said it was finished. Uh, did you get a rainbow card yet got some good information there for you and the good person test is always a, a favorite people read those comics and they go whoa that's pretty simple message to you know if somebody has ears to hear they'll they'll hear it what yeah well no i just outside here waiting because yeah, if you got 125 bucks, you can do a meet and greet. Whoa, just happen to have some extra spare change laying around. Oh my. How you doing? You going to the concert? Yes, sir. All right. Get a get one of those. A pride pride card there, rainbow card. You guys get one yet? No. It's a free card there for you. Got some good information. You guys going to the concert? Oh, maybe. You seen him before? Oh, uh, no. It's supposed to be pretty good. I watched some of the uh, YouTube clips and listened to the music. It was pretty uh, pretty amazing. Got runs in the family. <laughs> You guys get a rainbow card yet? Uh, sure. Why? There you go. Is that some more good information there for you? Uh, no. Uh-uh. We're going to meet Maya. Oh. We, I think he's... Can you tell me how it's going to be? Because I'm going to be on the screen for forever. How's it going? You get a rainbow card yet? No, thank you. All right. What would you think of the signs? How you doing, man? You get a rainbow card yet? No. There you go. You get a rainbow card? Oh, see, I think I already asked you. You folks going to the concert? No. You get a rainbow card? They're free for you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How you doing? Did you get a rainbow card? You going to the concert? Yeah. There you go. Have you uh, heard him before? Yes. Pretty good. I listened to a little bit of YouTube. Like, wow. Definitely talent runs in the family, you know. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you think of the sign? Your thoughts on that? What time is it anyway? 7 30. Oh, yeah. I think it starts at 8, right? Yeah, usually you think they'd let you in, or especially on a cool night like night, tonight. Just kind of nippy, nippy and damp. So just so you know, we're not protesting the concert. We just happen to be here sharing the gospel with tracks and, and the signs and uh, so hoping to have good gospel conversations, which we had a little bit there. So. One yet? You going to the concerts? Yeah, yeah. There you go. sure. There's one for you. Some good information in there. Yeah, look up those websites too if you get a chance. Good, uh, good statistical information. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. What do you think of the sign? I don't fully believe in uh, all of it. Uh, do you have a belief in God of some sort, or what's? No. 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 So would you would you consider More yourself of a scientific like scientific reasoning uh, behind it all? Uh, so would you say that you're like an atheist? Is that how you describe yourself? Or more of an agnostic kind, like there's something out there, but you're not yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Uh huh. Do you, yeah. do you believe in evolution too? I believe we all came from Stardust. Oh, yeah, from Stardust. There's okay. Two huh? left the show. Okay. If you do yeah. not have a ticket left, this is your And so what's uh? The door. How do you uh, How do you account for like reasoning and things like that? Uh, with, without a. Can we get our tickets? I, I mean, if we're Stardust, I'm if we're sure. kind of evolved no, fish sure. type of thing. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So. 
And, How does it all start? Yeah, well, well, there's there's kind of two views, right? There's the God view, and then there's the not God view. Yeah, right. Yeah, and so you, you kind of would sound like you fall in the not God view. Yeah. So how how do you know that your uh, your reasoning is correct? How would you? I how, don't. So, because you, you, would you agree That's that there are you. people um, in this world that have invalid reasoning? Would you yeah. say? Yeah. Sure. So how how do you know that you're not one of them? I don't. You don't. So we could you could be like a brain in a vat. Uh, or we could be in the matrix, you know, you're not really sure. Uh, sure. How would you How would you not know that? Yeah, I don't know, I guess there's some th scientists that think there's a, a reason to believe that holograms are some sort of reality, but uh -huh. I don't really believe in that either. Uh -huh. and, and to believe in that, you'd have to use what? Your reasoning, right? Sure. But, but you said you weren't sure if your reasoning is, is valid, right? Right. Right. So the problem with, is that that um, if, if you don't have any uh, any reasoning, you know, how do we know that we're we're real? That we're actually standing here and we're talking. You know what I mean? If you if you don't I have can sense your vibrations. But but as you, you can, use your you, you use your sense senses life. and your reasoning to determine that, right? Yeah, but sure. if you have, but if yeah. you say you have invalid reasoning, then that means that you if you don't have valid reasoning, you you give up all all knowledge. You don't there, you have no way of, of verifying that because you you can't trust your reasoning, right? Does right. that well, make sense? So are, is your reasoning correct then? Is that well, I, yeah, and, and that's a good point because okay, because I'm I, not sure if you're saying you is in all, all of humanity. Well, not just like, you, but but specifically like like right now you're saying that because um, because I have somebody who has all knowledge that has revealed that to me. In other words, God has revealed things to me, so I can have knowledge. I can what, I can make knowledge way claims. These things revealed to you. Well, through His Word and through creation as well. So he actually reveals those things supernaturally through through creation. Does that, that kind of make sense? You kind of no. oh, not not really like a dream or uh -huh. no, just just uh, you hear it in your ears or what? Well, or part of it is 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 stuff. God's word is the Bible is His revelation that's, to that's me. That's a book written by or, many people. Right, but but how would you how would you know that? Like in your world, Bill, how, how you would know? you know that? You <laughs> Well, because I'm in the same world you are. Right, right. And, and so what I'm, and I think you're reasoning. I can read books just like you can. Right, and you've right. You've chosen to say that that book is truer than others. Uh huh. Yeah. And, and, and like, see, you so know, that's all. That's, that's when you say that. Difference. Yeah, yeah, I, and I get that. But what you're saying is like when you when you have uh, said that your reasoning is could be invalid, and you're well, trying. Because I think we're still figuring it out. Humans are young. Uh huh. Yeah. So I, I, th I think we're still figuring it out. I, but you, so you just you just science. made a knowledge claim, right? You claim to to know that. Is that right? No, I I, I believe in it. I believe that we're uh -huh. as a human species are going to uh, develop in, in ways and learn things and uh, excel and uh -huh. and keep expanding and uh -huh. keep moving forward. Yeah. And so, how how do you account for like morality? And, uh, like, how would you say, like, like, uh, would it, no would it be wrong for you to come up and works. stab me? And we're and, all we're all electric. We're just electricity. Right. So we're just kind of like, you know, I've heard the analogy, like you said, a, a bottle of root beer and a bottle of Mountain Dew on the on the ground. You, then you pick them up, shake them up, and you uncap them. And one fizz is Mountain Dew, and one fizz is root beer. So which one's right? Which one's wrong? I don't understand. They're, they're just they're just chemical reactions so if we're, right so if we're if we're chemical reactions right if you're just fizzing you're fizzing atheistically yeah. and I'm fizzing theistically which one's right neither it doesn't matter so right right we can both exist and be yeah. happy and be fine well and not well in your worldview in your worldview like in your yeah. worldview you could come up and stab me no, and it couldn't. wouldn't be wrong yeah. so how, how do you it would be wrong so how do you know that because there is a right and a wrong according like, to who what we believe in in our, in our, in our uh -huh. So Hitler believed that murdering Jews was was right, and Charlie Manson believed that you know it was a whole racism sure. thing, right. and and that and, murdering and we, people. And the, and the most of the same people saw those people as as crazy and outcast, and we got rid of them. Uh -huh. and, you know, I think we're smart enough to weed out the bad ones. So, so it's so. kind of like the survival of the fittest. As you believe in that survival of the fittest. For, for sure. And uh huh. I, in all sorts of ways across the uh, spectrum of what that can Yeah. Be. So why wouldn't we like people that are non-productive, like like in the in the um, 
in the Nazi days, you know, they would eliminate the what they he called them useless eaters. People that are in wheelchairs, like the, the lady That's earlier. Extreme. That guy's really extreme, right? We all know right. that. But if but if we're just fish, if we're just evolved stardust, what, what does it matter? You know what I mean? Why? When I say we're stardust, I mean that we're we're made up of the exact same things that they're. That, that we as humans are finding out in the cosmos to be the origins of stars themselves. So uh -huh. That's what I mean by that. Uh -huh. And, and it, uh, I, I believe that someday we're all going to return to it. Uh -huh. to the, so to the stardust. So when you when you die, there's just a lot of lights out. There's nothing after that. You don't nothing. think. No. So yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and, and so in your worldview, would you considering morality? Would maybe you, if you're lucky, you come back as a cat. As a cat. Huh? And so you believe in reincarnation, maybe? Sure, why the hell not? I don't know. I can't prove it wrong, right? Uh huh. Okay. So uh, then, uh, and I'm not saying I could prove anything you're saying is wrong either. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. So, uh, so, would you consider yourself to be a, like a good and moral person, as a uh, yes. however you want to describe yourself, agnostic yeah. or atheist? Would you say you're a good? I think so. Yeah. 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 And so, and here's an example of that I I, of morality. I like, um, how many lies do you think you've told in your life? Any any idea? Thousands. Okay. More so, what would that make you if you if you told I'd a lot of lies? And I'd go to hell if I, it was in your. Well, I, I wasn't kind of go there right. I'm kind of trying to make a point here, but but you'd yeah. be called a what a liar, right? Is that right? I've been called. All the liars. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. And have you ever stolen anything oh, before? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. that would make you what? A thief. Well, actually, a lying thief because you've lied too. I've burgled as well. Burgled, yeah. I've vandalized. I've well, that's, that's very honest. Yeah. Um, and so, have you ever, even though you say you don't believe in God per se, but have you ever taken God's name in vain? Yes. Yeah, and and you know that's blasphemy, right? According yes. according to the Bible. According to the Bible, I I heard and I've read maybe the best. Place. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty a pretty serious thing. That's a pretty serious. Yeah, thing. and you might say, well, it's just a word, you know, and there's no, there's, since there's no God, it doesn't really matter, right? Is that does that sound fair in your reasoning? Would you say that? Totally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so it's it's kind of like if I drove down the street at 65 miles an hour. That'd be wrong. Um, I wouldn't like that. Yeah, and a policeman pulled yeah. me over, and. He he said, do you know why I pulled you over? And I say, tail light out? No, no, you're driving 65, right. and there's a, there are 25 mile an hour signs well, clearly posted. And I say, well, I didn't see the signs. He just say, well, so okay, what's your address, sir? Is this so your you correct address? Or would you be lying to him then, or you wouldn't? Well, no, if I, if I truly didn't see the signs. I mean, okay, I, I'm sure. being honest, I didn't see it. Right. But well, would that make so a difference to the policeman? Hell Satan. No, he'd just say, what's your address? Yeah, well, okay, I'll see you in court. The fine's going to be... The fine's going to be two hundred thirty-five dollars. I'll I just, see you in court. I, I think right and wrong is ingrained in, in us, and, that, and that's why society right now is excelling, and hopefully continues to to excel. And uh, and and if we all just keep it real, you know, like uh, yeah, don't be driving sixty-five down a street full of kids. Yeah, stuff you, you've got a, a point. It actually no right and wrong. Right. Well, and, and like and the, we don't have we don't have to like say right is determined by. Something. You don't have to have a standard, like you're, you're saying. Like, is lying wrong? It depends, right? Have you ever told a lie in your life? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm not saying... Are you going to tell a lie in the next week? No. <laughs> I so, that so I, the difference is Either I've way, repented of buddy, my sins. Like, we're all human. We're all in the same yeah, yeah. place. Like, so here's, I, I don't like being pushed on. I'm, I'm having fun having a conversation. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Well, and what I'm doing is... um you believe in. Yeah, and, and I get that. I totally get there. But here's here's one that might might maybe read, sink home with you. I read a lot of other books that I believe in. Yeah, yeah right, right. You, and you take it that, sure. that those are there's some facts in there because yeah. you trust the author. But here's one. Um, like Jesus said, you know, from the Bible, Jesus said you... Is, is, a, is an opinion first. Uh-huh, yeah. I, and that's fair enough. I... I you know, I know where you're coming from. So Jesus said, you've heard it said to them of old, do not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with them in their heart. So have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Of course. Yeah. So, so that would be an adultery. Adult. Yeah. So, um, so give me your honest opinion. You have a wife and kids. Yeah. And yeah. Still right. Yeah, exactly. Like and you don't whatever. have to be married to commit adultery of the heart. You could be single and look with lust. So here's a summation. You've admitted to being a liar, a thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart. All so if there was a God and if he were to uh, judge you based on those four commandments, would you be innocent or guilty, do you I'd think? Toast. You'd be toast. Guilty, huh? Whatever. So would you go to heaven or hell, do you I'd think? I would go to neither because I'm not... I don't, I don't believe that. Uh-huh. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, and I get that. I'm just wondering what you, true, what's your understanding right? of the Bible? Have you read the Bible much? Not all of it. Yeah, yeah. No, I skim through it and I find it quite boring and it just sounds like stories. And uh -huh. I know it has many authors and many iterations and uh, yeah. many yeah. books. And I believe in the ultimate uh, teaching of it is like choose the right, essentially, if you want to boil it way down, just choose the right path. You know, stay on the right path. <laughs> and if you want to quote something from the Bible, do unto others as you would do unto yourself. Uh -huh. You know? If that's even a quote from the Bible, I don't it know. It is, yeah, like yeah. That. Actually, it's kind of the gold, golden that they call rule. the golden rule. Yeah, it. yeah. And just it's stay on the right path. Yeah. And that's, we all know that. We don't, and if that's from the Bible, good, great. We've, we've stolen something from literature once again. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, yeah. Well, and actually, it actually says those commandments are written on our hearts so we know, even as an atheist, you not okay, only do so, you know there's so a God. God has a reason that we that's, that's ingrained in our hearts. Yeah, yeah. He actually wrote, Perfect. he took the time to wrote, write those commandments on their hearts so you know it's wrong guy, to lie. The guy you, is, is the one, man. That's great. Well, that's and, and so here's the deal. It, he says that all liars shall have their part in the lake of fire. It says no thief, no murderer, no adulterer that's a Nirvana shall, song, shall enter the kingdom of God. So does that concern you, the idea of going to a place called hell at all? I don't believe in any of that. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you understand what the concept is, though? It's a, it's a punishment, a place of punishment it's to a, last it's forever? It's a way to punish yourself before you die. It makes no sense. Well, no, it's, it's actually... If it's I, a way if, to punish yourself and guilt trip yourself before you die. Well, it's it's actually because the Bible says we're, that we love our sin, we're 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 happy in our sin. Basically, there's there's pleasure in sin for a season, but the the Bible says that the hell is a place of eternal torment, of of various degrees. To be fair, and and you know if you look at our justice system, you realize if you park in the wrong spot in downtown Ashland, you get a yeah. you know maybe a thirty dollar parking yeah. ticket. Bummer. I could we, have we gone call to that living hell to, to steal right. something else from the Bible. Yeah. yeah, but if somebody at the same time goes into Medford and robs a bank and kills three people in the process, he's going to get a severe process, uh, more severe fine than me parking in a, a park shit. site. Yeah, and so that's what, hell is not a one size fits all. It, the punishment matches the crime and the, and the number of crimes. You see what I'm saying? So you could be sitting next to fire roast marshmallows or you could be like burning. Well, well none of it will be good. I mean, none of hell will be good. This will Actually, to the to the non-believer, one who has not trusted Christ, this will be uh, the the closest to to heaven it'll ever get, and for the for the believer, it'll be the closest to hell that it ever gets. Because we have elements of both, right? Here we got cancer and and war and earthquakes and tsunamis and and heart attacks, car accidents that take people's lives, elements of hell. We have good things like reggae music, and we have we, we yeah, he's a pretty talented guy, and we have food and. No, I, it's kind of late for me, but it it's go, goes on real late. That's kind of expensive. Well, we just came here to, you know, and and maybe this is a divine appointment. I get a chance to talk to you. My name's John, by the way. Ian. Ian, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah. Name almost. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah, very close. Yeah. Like yeah. Irish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That my background is is Scottish and German. Do you have like Irish background at yeah, all? Irish. Is and oh, okay. Okay. Cool. I wish <laughs> wish I was more European Irish, but mutt. European mutt. We're all mutts, right? So, th so that's the deal, Ian. Is uh, it, it, it's not. I, I can't convince you of this. God has nope. to convince you. All I have to do is, all I'm required to do is, is to bring the message and say, hey, man, think about this, because um, you know you're betting your eternity on it. You're betting your eternal life on it, and, and so you don't want to be wrong. You know what I mean? And so I care about you. That's why I'm here, cool. and not protesting the concert or anything like. Just here to proclaim the gospel, which is it's good news. If it makes it to you in time, right? Because, like, when will you die, do you think? No idea. Yeah, so, and that's a good point, right? Because if you died tomorrow, where do you think you would go? According to the Bible, anyway. According to the Bible, I'd go to hell. Yeah, and, you're, and, you're and that's why I care about you, Ian. I don't want you to go there. I don't believe in any of that. Right, right, I realize that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but but I'm just gonna cease to be, and someday I'm gonna rot and or get burned, or uh huh, and and that's that's the it. hope that you have, and maybe like somebody that that wanted to blow themselves up in a crowd or do a mass murder, they're hoping that when they die, when the the policeman come and the sniper takes them out, that they just nothing, it's lights out, but it, they actually end up in hell, in and your, and so that's that's a terrible view. thing. Well, yeah, and that's what I'm doing. I'm sharing my worldview, saying, hey, Ian, I care about you don't want you to end up in hell. Uh, it's, this is such an important deal that I'd spend the evening away from my family and, and uh, you know, we could be watching a movie, eating pizza, whatever, but we're out here because I care. 
I care about you, and even though I don't know you, I just met you. But I care about what happens to people after well, they die. Well, thanks, John. Yeah, yeah. And I hope you have a great evening and enjoy the, the concert and everything. But I just, you know, just want, to, want you to know that, that there is hope in Christ, and you don't have to die in your sins and go to hell. You can actually have eternal life by trusting in Jesus that he died on the cross for your sins. Have you heard that message before? <laughs> wow, did you do something bad to come back as a cat? You oh, know? That's good, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> you think cats are good? I like, I'm a dog person. I like dogs. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm more of a dog right, person. Yeah, oh, boy, that's bad. Yeah. Well, you know, to, it, to, to Jewish people, dogs are, are unclean, and, and uh, but I'm not Jewish. So. Dogs are, well, they're still kind of, they're, they're still like, like to roll in icky stuff, you know. <laughs> nice talking to you, Ian. Yeah, God bless you, man. Get out of the way here. Did you get one yet, man? Oh, yeah. All right, good. You guys get one? Oh, cool. All right. You guys get a rainbow card? Check on our <coughs> feed here we're doing. Oh, yes. Okay. Very cool. Maybe I was here for Ian. I don't know. God only knows. But just be faithful to, to share his word. And, let God, uh, let God do the results thing. That's His department is saving souls, and just proclaiming His, his truth. Yeah, looks like Kurt's having a conversation down there. That's good. You guys, get a rainbow card yet? Oh, I'm good. I'm as rainbow as I can. That's rainbow. <laughs> Full color spectrum there. You guys get a rainbow card? You guys get rainbow cards, anyone? You guys get, get a rainbow card? Giving away the rainbow cards. For free, got some good information. It's like it's gonna be a big crowd tonight. Oh, yeah, winding around the corner. <laughs> Going to the concert, you get a rainbow card. I'll just lose this. What do you think of the sign? I do all those things. You get a rainbow card, ma'am? There you go. Stuff. You gotta get a rainbow card? <clears throat> get a rainbow card, ma'am? There you go. All right. You get one, ma'am? There you go. You got it. Rainbow card for you, sir? Thank you. Right. You get one, man? No, I'm, I'm good. All right. <laughs> You get one, man? Oh, I'm all right.
Did you get a rainbow card yet? Oh, Going to the concert? Thank you so much. I don't right. have any. I have right. banana. Okay. <laughs> How's it going? You get a rainbow card yet? <laughs> like wow, that's a half a stack out. That's good. It's a good. <clears throat> you guys get a rainbow card? No, I want weed. Ah, don't think they have any in there. Don't think they let it in there. <laughs> you know what concert this is? Yeah, they said there's no weed. Yeah, no. They no, no weed allowed. That's a lie. That's a dirty uh, lie. It's a lie. Well, you know, the Bible says the liars end up in the lake of fire, so that's not a not a good thing. Wow. That's, that's not too good. You get one yet, man? Uh, no. Right. What do you think of the sign? Sold out. You get one, man? Rainbow card there for you. you get a rainbow card, man. <laughs> You get one yet? Thanks, I already have one. All right. <laughs> Ooh, looks like Kurt's still talking down there. That's good. Big line. <clears throat> You get one yet, man? Rainbow card there for you. <clears throat> you get a rainbow card, man? No, I'm, I'm good. I appreciate it. All right. You get a rainbow card, man. How you doing tonight? Get a rainbow card. Get your rainbow card, sir. <clears throat> guys, get one yet? Get a rainbow card. <coughs> Guys, get a rainbow card. You're going to the concert. I'm solid. All right. <laughs> you going to the concert? Did you get a card yet? There you go. You guys, get one yet? Yeah. All right. There you go. There's another one here. All right. Just about running out here. This is good. This is good. The depth charge. Oh my. See, you've seen these guys before? Heard them before? Heard a little bit of the YouTube. It sounds like they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it should be good.
Standby for technical difficulties. Hmm. You get a rainbow card, man? Good, buddy. Oh, good enough to go to heaven? Oh, watch out for the car there, man. That'll take you where you're going. It's not good. <clears throat> How you doing today? I got a hunting license for Christians. Oh, you do? There's no bag limit. You know what it says that if you hate your brother, that you are a murderer? Did you know that, sir? I am a murderer. I kill you. No fucking yeah, I... God's in control of all that, man. <clears throat> Get a rainbow card. Rainbow card for you. Well, you got like four of them left here. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God, bummer, I'm almost out of them. How's it going, man? It's gonna hang out for a while. You guys get a rainbow card? No. Oh, what's a rainbow card? Oh. Yeah, it's got some information on LGBTQ and added letters and all stuff. This a good. It's got some websites in there you can look up the information. It's got some good statistical information. So, and the gospel. Sorry, the writing's kind of small and it's dark, so it's hard to read. God clearly states that homosexuality is unnatural and is a serious moment. So why did he create man in his image like that? Uh, well, he didn't. Actually, we're fallen. We're fallen humans. And thank you for reading that too, by by the way. Yeah, but we're. I don't know if you understand that we're. We it started out good, but it went bad. Oh yeah. Yeah. So do you, do you have a belief in God at all, or are you would you say you're more of an atheist? In way more complex than that. But you do believe in hey, I have a spiritual like oh, yeah. uh, reality of some sort. Oh yeah. Yeah, but and we not, not a traditional like uh, not traditional. Uh, uh, don't believe in the Bible like type that type well, I, of thing. I believe there's there's things you know. I believe that there's good messages. I, I like the messages you know. Uh huh. Don't kill one another. You know. Yeah. Be nice to your brother like. Uh -huh. Things like that. Like it's Ten like, Commandments. You think that was okay? Know, right. Look cool. But, but then, you know, after time, and it kind of gets skewed and uh -huh. translated. And like, yeah. Uh -huh. but, you know, it's, right. Cool. It's, well, thanks yeah. for talking. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. God bless you now. Yeah. You guys get a rainbow card? Get a rainbow card? No, thank you. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the concert. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Heard some of it on YouTube. Pretty good singer. Yep. You guys get a rainbow card? Dude, I already took one, thanks. All right, good good for you. Got some rainbow cards for you. Get a rainbow card yet? Okay, get a rainbow card. Yeah. All right. Okay. Folks, get a rainbow card. Giving away the rainbow cards. Here. You get a rainbow card. You going to the concert? You get a rainbow card. Three rainbow cards there for you. You get a rainbow card, man? Hell Satan. Okay then. What do you think of the sign? I can read it, but 
about my last one. Yeah, that's, I kind of need big lettering. Now I'm, I'm older, you know. going to be 60 this year. So what do you think? I have no idea. I don't know. No idea? Like, put her on the other side of the street. What's that? Maybe she go on the other side of the street. Oh, that'd be harder to read, right? Want to be able to be able to read it. A real big pond. Yeah, yeah. So it's saying that our, there's no Y on that, by the way, our lies, hate, theft, greed, lust, porn, know. fornication. Apparently we're talking politics here anyway. I was going to say, so yeah, Paula, I don't like talking politics. We're talking yeah, we're, I like to talk about so eternal life, like what happens after you die. Talk about eternal life and salvation from sin, death and hell. That's good news if you have an ear to hear. That's what we're Everybody hoping goes for. Everybody to the voting box, right? Yeah. And it would be ugly Trump <laughs> What do you think? Ask your, ask your dad what he thinks of it. What do you think? Got an opinion on it? Nope. It's pretty no? cool because he's bad for that shit. I think everybody is all about Oh, me too. Yeah, in fact, I actually. Oh yeah, absolutely. The king, the kingdom is open to all that will repent. Everyone, everyone that is willing to turn from their sin, trust Jesus as Savior, be saved from sin, hell, and death. I mean, it's open, open. I don't know who those are that'll come. Only Jesus knows, and so just here to to share the message and. Because I'm included in those sins as well. We sure don't need any more guilt and fear in our life. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, you're, if you're headed for danger, fear is a good thing. Remember the old commercials where they had uh, what goes through the mind of a, of a, a driver and, and he, uh, in a rear end collision? They have a dummy and then they, they show him crash and say, the steering wheel, that's what goes through the mind of a driver. And they show the steering wheel going through their head. It's like they're using fear tactics. Oh my, they're trying to get you to put on your seatbelt, right? Remember that? That's fear tactics. Wow. I think that he hung out yeah. with people who were impoverished who had, you know, very hard, difficult lives. Uh, so yeah, that we yeah. Accept everybody. He said to yeah. repent, and he goes, like the woman at the well, he said, uh, uh, the, the woman caught in adultery, he said, when it's all said and done, he said, go and sin no more. But <laughs> 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 you guys get a rainbow card? I'm right with you. It's cool. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Got some good information on there. Those who have an ear to hear what the Spirit says. How you doing, ma'am? You get a rainbow card yet? Yeah, here you go. What do you think of the sign? You read that okay? <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can read it. You can read it. What, and then it's got the backside there. And it's got basically the gospel there. So what? It's got the problem on the back side, and then this side is the solution. So the problem is that we sinned against the holy God. The solution is that Jesus came to pay for those sins, those crimes against God, and to, to save us from sin, death, and hell. And that's the good news. If if you'll have it, if you'll. If you'll take it in and say, yes, I, I believe that. That makes sense? All right, God bless you. Stay cool. Stay warm tonight. I mean, not stay cool. And that's a cool hat there, by the way. That's a big hat. I should have brought my jacket. Get your rainbow card yet? I know. You get a rainbow card yet? <laughs> How you doing, man? You get your rainbow card? <clears throat> it's got quite the line going on there. Wow.
How you doing? You guys get a rainbow card going to the concert? There you go. I think that little tagline, you're going to the concert, that's it. You're going to the concert, you get a card, rainbow card. Yeah, it's kind of similar to what's on the sign, only has a little bit more information. There's some websites on the back side. And I grew up in the church, bro. I got my pill, bro. Well, that, that's, that's statistically, it's like about 60-something percent of LGBT folks grew up in the church. It's really interesting how that works. You guys get your rainbow card going to the concert? You get a rainbow card? You get a rainbow card, you go to the concert? Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I recognize you now. Don't have my glasses on, so it takes a little to, to focus, yeah. We're glassless. How you guys doing? You going to the concert? You get a rainbow card yet? Rainbow card for you there? How you doing, man? Like get a rainbow friend, card? If you're publicly demonstrating, which you are, you must be continuously moving, walking. You cannot stand in one spot. Uh, that's State actually law. false, yeah. No. Hey, I, I know my rules. So. I, I have to do it with protesting all the time. I know the law about it. Yeah. Well, you're wrong, sir, and need to repent. <clears throat> Get a rainbow card yet? Some good information there. There. Yeah. Enjoy the concert. By the way. You guys, get one yet? No, thank you. All right. Enjoy the concert. There. I th I'm sure it's a lot warmer inside. <laughs> it's kind of chilly tonight. Huh? It's a lot warmer in hell too. I wasn't gonna say that, but now that you brought it up, it's like way hot. And that's what we don't want people to go there. We want to re people to repent of their sins and and not end up going to hell. That's that's why we're out here. <clears throat> it's a good day when you repent and trust Christ for salvation. It's a really good day. You're right. I felt like I had to bring her How's it going? Oh. Yeah, it's getting kind of cold. I didn't realize that we are going to be here this long. They had the little technical difficulty with the, the tickets. Yeah, that's oh, darn. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, up on the corner having some good conversations. Right. People, it's like, you know, what do you think of the sign? So, it's good, good. <laughs> oh, that's the one girl. She drove them here. Oh, okay. Oh. Went around and the guy just, Stephen Moore, I guess. Mm. He just like, so he just looked at him and was like, he was just kind of like rocked. It's like, wow. Why are they here protesting? No paper ticket, and you have nothing to It's shock, huh? Off. Interesting. Well, he didn't really read it. Just, yeah, right. This is your like line. The, There's single tile the line. Line. Yeah. Divided by the walkway. He was kind of throwing him off. Uh -huh. like he gave him a bad vibe. Bad vibe. But you folks will call? Which yeah. you guys have are signs in it, <laughs> like a protest sign. Yeah, right. It's like people, people see protest signs so much they don't even look at them. Anymore. Right. They just, oh, more protesters. Yeah, they just kind of walk around. And don't yeah. Well, it sounded like you had a great conversation. I mean, you were oh, talking a long yeah, time. Yeah. Oh. It was good. Some of the stuff she was saying, I kind of really felt, I, I felt that way on some things. Like, like I, we were discussing beforehand, it's like, you know, if you have this, you don't get as many of these out. Yeah, yeah. And I, I was getting too many out, a lot of people walking around. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. yeah. 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 Well, that's cool. That's good conversation. Cool. Well, I just thought I'd check in. I you know, didn't want to leave you alone, but I, I'm in, in sight of you. You know, yeah, I don't I think it'll go yeah. bad, but, you know, just, just in case. And, uh, but, yeah, I'm going to go and hang out on the corner since things are moving slow. Yeah. Getting getting some conversations, preach a little gospel. So, yeah, yeah, good stuff. You going back? Yeah, I'm gonna be back on the corner 
for however long. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too much longer. <laughs> How's it going, man? Did you get a rainbow card? Probably. There's some good news there. Good information. It's a little about are you good enough nope, to go nope, to heaven? Nope, What's that? Good, good. Enjoy the concert too. I, I heard a little bit of it on YouTube. It sounds like uh, it's pretty pretty talented. Super Runs talented. in the family, eh? Super talented. Yeah. yeah. Amazing voice. Absolutely. Couldn't catch all the words, but. What's that? You don't always need to. Yeah. I, I'm a I'm a songwriter, and so I always listen to lyrics, and sometimes they can be pretty gnarly, and sometimes good. Did you get one yet, man? <laughs> but he who has an ear, let them hear. You get one, man? You folks get one yet? Information there for you? The gospel? You guys get a gospel track? All right. You folks get a gospel track? You guys get one? Yeah. All right. What you get one? You guys get one yet? Going to the concert? There you go. How you doing? Folks, get one yet? Gospel track there for you, though. There you go. God bless you. You guys get one yet? Gospel track there for you. Folks, get one yet? You going to the concert? All right, you got one. Good. <coughs> you guys get one yet? You guys get one yet? You guys get a gospel track? Good information. <laughs> well, that's that's your judgment. No, you're the one. And you're welcome to make a judgment. As long as it's the right one, then. Why are you here? Well, it's, it's because there's a real heaven and there's a real hell. And Jesus said, broad is the road to destruction and narrow is the road to life. And few there that find it. And I want you to be one of those few that find eternal life through the gospel of Jesus Christ. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's why I could be with my family eating pizza, watching a movie or whatever, or it's warm. But I chose to come out because I care about you. Right, I and, feel you. Yeah. Why did you choose this show? Just because there's a lot, a lot of people. Here? Yeah, I'm not protesting the concert. Nothing. I don't know of anything wrong with the music. No, yeah, not protesting. I'm, I'm proclaiming. Starts with the P. Proclaiming the gospel. So that's the gospel there. What do you think of the sign? That's what it sounds like. Pretty bold. It's pretty straightforward. Well, pretty bold. I don't bold. agree with it, but. Yeah. What what part don't you agree with? Uh, I don't know. I like porn. It's basically LGBT. Yeah, you understand what fornication is? Sex I think outside all of marriage. Those should be okay. So you, it's okay to lie. It's okay to hate people. No, okay no, to I, steal things. No. Okay to be greedy. No. Uh, to lust, be lustful. Look lust at porn. Is hard. What's that? Lust is hard. 
hard? Yeah. What about? Wasn't hard for me. I never had a problem with lust. What's that? What about your partner? Your well, if you're husband, married, your partner, wife. that's called desire, and that's a natural thing, and that's a good thing. But if you lust for somebody you're not married to, that's Jesus said that's yeah. that's called adultery of the heart. If you look with lust, you've committed adultery I'm such in the heart. Adulterous. Yeah, and I'm just. No, I'm I really, I am. What's that? I'm an adulteress. Yeah, well, and, and that's a good admission. Because I'm not saying, you know, that I try not to be. I know, we try to do good, but our and our conscious, it, it's like a fire alarm going off. Ding, 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 ding. But you still do it, right? You know, and that's the way I was. I, I tried not to do it, I tried not, but I still did it, you know? But, but we're forgiven. Well, we're not forgiven until we repent and we trust Christ. Yeah. Trust no. Jesus for you, you get that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And so that's why I'm out here is proclaiming the salvation through Jesus Christ alone. Yeah. Through faith alone. Yeah. And and that you can be saved from your sins and death and hell. That's what this is the good news. This is the bad news. This is the good news. So so all those things about like God God is good, right? You hear that? God is good all the time. Well, that's that's not actually good news for us because we're bad. Yeah. And so, but the but the good news is that God can save you from your sins and death and hell, and that's that's why I'm out here. You know, I, I don't enjoy sharing the bad news, but it's necessary. Right. Just like a, a fireman doesn't enjoy having to wrangle somebody out of a burning house. It's terrible. But once he's outside. Person's going, oh, thank you so much for saving me. Oh, you're you're wonderful, you know. Right on. But he doesn't enjoy having to go in the smoke and the heat and all that, you know. So. Or the cold. Yeah, yeah, the cold tonight. Yeah, because it's not pleasant, but it's it's commanded. Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. So, so hopefully you understand why I'm here. You know. Yeah, good. That's that's very cool. Very cool. Now, it's part of what we're trying to bring understanding, you know. Like the parable of the soils, the one that understood was the one that that sa was saved, and yeah, yeah, it's a good good stuff. You have an ear and you'll and you'll hear it. You get one yet, man? Going to the concert? Oh. You guys going to the concert? You get one? All right, you got one of those. Good. You got a the good person, good person comic. That's a popular one. Do you folks get one yet? You guys all have tickets already? Yes. I do. Yes. Okay. Did you get one of those yet? That's okay. Thank you. All right. What do you think of the sign? It's true. All right. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's what we're here for. I think, granted, most of the people are not going to agree with the message, but doesn't doesn't negate the message. <laughs> it's like always leave the results up to God. He's the one that's in charge of all that. <laughs> Going, man, did you get one yet? The gospel track there for you. All right. Did you get one? There you go. Something to read while you. Looks like you're staying warm there. Hopefully. A chilly night. I bet it's uh, probably snowing in the mountains, huh? <clears throat> so yeah, I'm not sure what the holdup is, but. Major technical difficulties. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> How you doing, ma'am? Did you get one? No, that's right. All right. Yeah, enjoy the concert. You going to the concert? All right. I don't know what the technical difficulty is with the. This is the line to get it. Oh. <clears throat> Sold out. Pretty popular, eh? Folks, get one yet? Yeah. Sold out. Wow. 
See how Kurt's doing here. Looks like he's got a conversation going on. Let's go. I can't fucking rip it. Oh, now you're just littered. You just littered. You could get a ticket for that. You get a ticket for that littering. Yeah. In, in Ashland, of all, it's supposed to be environmentally friendly and all that stuff, and, and you go and litter. Huh? Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's paper. Paper will decompose. All those bonds. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, sorry. If I didn't run them off. I was just... <laughs> did you... Were you able to get get through... The, oh, thank you. The... Uh, Good person test with them at all, or were they just kind of mocking? They just mocking. Oh just yeah. Came up right right before you did. Oh okay. <laughs> How you holding up? White fingers. Oh yeah. Well, we don't have to stay any longer. If you, I, I didn't expect to go this long, but I guess yeah. they they had some difficulty with the tickets, and I guess they're sold out, so they're kind of routing people around the back there, and so yeah. uh, whatever whatever you think. I, yeah, I don't think I'm getting any good responses here. Yeah yeah. Okay, well, that's, I'm fine with that. I had some good conversations and so far, so that's... Yeah, that was a guitar. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I kept looking, oh, he's still talking. Yeah. He's still talking, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, everybody. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's call it, yeah. Well, thanks, everybody, for... Um, oh, let's see here, we got that. Oh. Yeah, hey, thanks everybody for uh, for praying uh, tonight. Had some good conversations. Uh, nothing real radical at all, uh, especially for Ashland. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're getting kind of cold, and they had some technical difficulties and, uh, with the tickets, and now they're sold out. So, um, so we're gonna head on back. But uh, thanks for watching and um, and uh, and hanging out with us. So uh, God bless you, and uh, hope to see you at the next event. God bless you.